Hi, <clears throat> hello everyone. Uh, welcome again to my channel, The Creative Agile IT. So as part of today's video, I thought uh, I will share uh, my experience uh, using Jira in a Kanban team. So we will understand how we can set up the Kanban project in Jira, how we can create our very first board uh, that can be utilized by the Kanban teams, how can we set the WIP limits, uh, how can we create the different tickets or tasks, assign them to the different team members and uh, some other basic things as well. So this is going to be kind of a very uh, getting to it started kind of a video. Uh, so let us start. So the very first thing uh, we will do is uh, I am using this uh, Jira which is basically a cloud version of Jira app and uh, the login has been created uh, using my channels id and what we will do is first we will create a project so in order to do that i will click on the create project and uh, there are different templates on the left side navigation we can see uh, we will pick the jira as a product and now we can see there are two processes which are coming uh, either we can go for the kanban or we can go for the scrum uh, since we want to set up the kanban board for our team so what we will do is we will click on the kanban and we will click on the use template after that uh, it is asking us to choose a project type so we will keep company managed and let's try to give a name to this project maybe we can call kanban first or maybe we can say my kanban project Okay, so it's giving the key MYK and let's click on next. Okay, so this project has been created. Uh, this is my Kanban project. And if you go to the project settings, uh, we can see some details of this process here. So this is a Jira project and uh, who has created it and all those things like what's the, and uh, Yeah, so it says like, you know, this is using the Kanban issue type scheme. Now let's go back to the project and if we click on the Kanban board, so this is the default board uh, that we have got. So we want our team to kind of like uh, use this particular board since our team is not a scrum team. So we do not want our team to work in the uh, sprints. Maybe this is more like a support team or maybe this is kind of a regular uh, customer support team uh, which is getting some tickets on a priority basis on a daily basis so they want to create a visual board which depicts their workflow so i mean by default it has created a backlog then we have selected for development column then we have in progress and done so how can we create a new column uh, if we require one so what we will have to do it we see a plus sign here let's say there is a column called QA test and we can click on this right sign. So this has been created here and we can always drag and drop, you know, uh, so we can place this column anywhere. So we want it to be placed uh, after the in progress. So that's what we have done. Uh, apart from that, let's say we need one more column, which says uh, maybe uh, blocked. Okay, so this blocked, we want to place uh, before in progress. So these are the columns and let's make this window a bit uh, wide. So this is what we have. So we have a backlog then, you know, from the backlog or in our, from our to-do list, we will select some of the tickets for the development. Then there will be some of them will be picked by the member as in progress and uh, any ticket which we are, where we are blocked or we, we have got some impediments, we will put it in the block list. And uh, this one will be used by the QA for performing the testing. And once QA test has been passed, then it will be done. So this is kind of a very basic flow and uh, we all can configure it. We can, we can create new columns uh, and it will all depend upon uh, the kind of work we are performing, the kind of workflow we have, what are our project needs, what are the steps that we foresee, uh, which are significant in our development process. So what we will do is we will first click on the create issue in order to start creating some issue. Maybe we can say we need a login UI and uh, we can pick a type here. Let's say this is of task and we can simply click on enter. So this issue has been created. Uh, let's try to create one more issue. Let's say login DB 
table and this is also a task only and we can click on enter so this has been created so let's try to move these two for selected for development and uh, maybe we can create one more issue which is called dev environment setup okay and i can click on okay and uh, maybe another issue which says uh, login api this can also be placed uh, selected for development then maybe another one which says login test so this is also a task now what we can do is uh, so this is how we can create a different uh, you know our tickets in our board like whatever has been requested by the customer maybe the some external stakeholders so simply we can create uh, you know those tickets here and right now for the simplicity i have kept you know this particular team uh, for which i have created this board they are using task at a very simplest level now another thing that we want to understand is how we can set the limits for our column like i mean how do we identify how many uh, tickets or how many cards can be in progress so in order to do that i mean what we will have to do is we have to click on this three dots and set column limit let's say ours is a five members team including four developers and one qhs so that means you know uh, we will set the in progress card as four and since qa member is one we will say uh, only one card can be tested at a time so uh, maybe so what we will do is let's say uh, this particular one has been selected for progress has for development uh, this is the login ui and then we also have the login table also we have this login api and the setup has been selected for development now login test has been maybe uh, this is selected for the test so let's try to create another one which says dev environment test so if we try to move this dev environment test uh, maybe to the QA test, so we can see that you know this has been gone red. So why? Because uh, we have set the limit on this column as one. So right now we have placed two cards, and that's why it is showing this one as uh, red, uh, indicating that you know there is an overflow in this column. Uh, instead of placing one card, this column consists of two cards. So if we move this tab and our test back to you know this particular column or wherever we feel it is appropriate, this column is uh, perfectly fine now, right? So uh, this is the kind of a flow. I mean, based on the kind of work we are performing for each of the uh, on each of the columns. So once the development is done, maybe it will be passed to the QA test, and when the QA test is done, that will be marked to the uh, done stage so this is how it will be now another part is uh, let's say if we have to kind of like uh, give some estimates on this one so what we can do is we can click on this login test and uh, we have some it indicates like there are some more fields like original estimates time tracking others one so we can say let's say login test require maybe eight hours and we click on ok so we close it now uh, if we want to see uh, you know our estimates here what we will have to do is if we click on these three dots and click on the configure board uh, we can see okay the settings are getting loaded so here it, sh uh, it shows like what is the card layout so we can add up to three fields in our kanban board the uh, the card layout so what we will have to do is we have to click on add field and maybe select the original estimate field from here yeah so this is the original estimate so if i click on save so this has been added now let's go back to our board so if i refresh this one so we can see here uh, now this uh, particular original estimate is coming up and uh, if uh, we click on this one again, login test. So how much time we have spent? So let's say I have spent uh, four hours and four hours are remaining. 
so this this also can be done so uh, what it shows is you know this particular task uh, its estimate was of one day or eight hours now four hours has already been spent now still four hours is remaining uh, if you want to also show the remaining one the remaining uh, time what we can do is again we can go to the configure board maybe this time we can open in a new tab and uh, we can click on the layout yeah so we ha already have added the original estimate now this time we can also add remaining estimate and we can click on the save now if we go back to the board refresh it yeah so this is how it will show so within the card itself we can see like this is the title of the card and then we have the original estimate how much time is remaining so we will get you know this kind of an indication so uh, apart from that uh, you know we can assign these tasks to different users of the team if you want to add more users we can click on the add people and uh, we can specify their email uh, email address we can specify their role and that this will get added but since this is a trial version so there are some limitations so i won't be able to add it up but i mean uh, uh, let's say this one gets assigned to the creative learning which is our channel uh, this is also assigned to the creative learning uh yes and uh, maybe this login api is done by uh okay just okay let's uh, this one has been worked by this user and then we can click on this one so now we can see okay okay so uh, this is how we can so once we have all our team members defined here or added here we can also assign the tickets by clicking on this particular icon which is unassigned and it will we can uh, select the appropriate users from this particular list uh, apart from that we can also click on individual users to see what all tickets he is working on so here creative learning is working on this stuff if i unselect this one maybe collect the this person uh, anil so he's working on this particular stuff and uh, we can clear the filters so it will give us the cumulative view apart from that we can also group here we can group by assignee as well so that means you know we are getting the users here creative learning is working on two issues and uh, anil is working on two issues and there are another two issues which are uh, undefined so uh, this was kind of a very brief on how to get it started with a kanban board so we learned about you know how to create the kanban board kanban project in jira how to configure the kanban board for our team how to add the team members how to create the basic set of uh, tickets and move them from one column to another column uh, how to set or apply the whip limits and one another thing is i mean this column name can also be changed i mean if you want to change let's say blocked we can simply click on this one and let's say these are our impediments so this is how we can change the column so that was all about today's video i hope you guys liked it and uh, uh, please do share and subscribe thank you thanks for your time